another small thing that, that we take for granted, and I think I probably should cover this because it may save you having bloody fingers. If you have a dog that if you hold out the food to give it a piece of food and it bites the end of your fingers because it has such strong food drive, that can be, for lack of a better word, a pain in the butt because you'll end up having bloody fingers. For those people, there are ways to handle food delivery. And the easiest way is obviously when you have a basically a solid muzzle like we have here, you can take it and drop the food reward in it and your hands are pretty well protected. But if you have to reward in place, the way to do this is how you handle a food reward. And we demonstrate this in all of our streaming videos and our online courses is you take a piece of food and you hold it with your thumb pinched against your finger and you can actually hold a piece of food like this. And when the dog comes up to get the piece of food, you can move your thumb. Oh, better do that one again. And when you reward the dog, the dog comes up, you rotate your hand over, drop the piece of food in the palm of your hand and a dog that, that takes food rather roughly is gonna come up and they're gonna stick their nose in your hand and they don't have any fingers to bite and they'll take the food reward right out of your hand. I just say that because there's not a lot of applications where you're going to take and put food through here, your fingers are pretty well protected. But if you're gonna try and hand a dog food like this, when you reward in place and you have a dog that really snaps that food, you probably should reward like that. We post our social media videos to our website, Learberg.com, a week or two before we post them to our YouTube channel. These early release videos can be found on the front page of our site or by going to the site and selecting video on demand from the toolbar and then select free videos. Thank you for watching. 